Dear parents and students, welcome to the test prep card channel. This video is going to be about NIT Durgapur that is in West Bengal. And in this video, we are going to discuss the following topics. One is the basic overview about NIT Durgapur in West Bengal. Then we are going to know about the courses offered by that institute as well as the eligibility criteria and the required entrance examinations for all those courses being offered by NIT Durgapur West Bengal. Also, we are going to discuss about the cutoffs for the courses in this institute and the NRI cutoffs as well as the cutoffs for Indians. Also, we are going to discuss the application process or the admission process as you may like to call it and the scholarship offered by NIT Durgapur for various courses for its students. So let's begin with this video and I would request you to please complete this video. And, uh, and also you can actually check out the document prepared by Test Prep Card channel for DASA CIWG quota in the description given below. So let's begin with the video about NIT Durgapur West Bengal. And First, you need to know a little bit about this institute itself. It was established back in 1960. So it has been more than half a century in its existence. And it is also known as NIT DGP, Durgapur. DGP it stands for. So you can actually go to the website and get more information about this institute if you are really seeking admission into it. So the exams conducted is NIMCET. And also the accepted exams are Joint Entrance Examination, JEE, Main. Some of the popular courses uh, as an overview of this institute are obviously uh, the Bachelor of Engineering or BTEC courses as well as MBA program as well, which is quite popular at this NIT Durgapur. So it is a deemed uh, institution and there are 33 courses offered across four streams. So to know a little bit more about this NIT Durgapur, it has obviously a government of public ownership. It is recognized by UGC as well as All India Council for Technical Education, AICTE. And it is accredited deemed institute and ranked 47 in the ranking of 2020 by National Institute for Ranking Framework. So it is pretty good. Comes in the top 50 for engineering courses and you can definitely look forward to applying in this NIT Durgapur. So there are uh, more than 30 courses offered across various streams and the faculty to student ratio is also quite good. There are like close to 6,000 students already studying in this institute and the faculty number is also about 200. It's close to 30 or beyond that. So there are a sizable number of international students, few dozen international students as well studying in this. So the overall ranking as well as the overall standards of this institute is pretty good. So let's move ahead and we see that uh, the various uh, uh, eligibility for courses being offered by NIT Durgapur as well as the required entrance examinations is very much important. So let us discuss that in brief. UG courses or undergraduate courses being offered are the NIT BTEC uh, courses, the admission for which is through JE mains and uh, then there is the counseling of course. So international students can also apply for admission in BTEC through DASA. Right, so you can actually, for further information on that, DASA CIWG quota, you can refer to the description uh, of this video itself. And for the PG courses, I would like you to tell that the postgraduate courses being offered by this National Institute of Durgapur uh, is MCA program, which is based upon NIM CET examination that I earlier referred to in this video. Then MSc, a valid IIT JAM score that you need to have in order to seek admission to the MSc courses being offered by NIT Durgapur. Then we have uh, those who are interested in MSc program need to participate in the CCMN counseling. While on the other hand, there are there is a JOSSA counseling for the uh, NIT BTEC admissions. Then a valid CAT, CMAT or XAT score is required for MBA programs. And uh, then a uh, final selection will be done based upon a candidate's performance in the group discussion and the personality interview test for uh, the uh, for the MBA courses and NIT MTech courses are also there. So these are also PG courses being offered by NIT Durgapur. So a gate score is required followed by a CCMT counseling in that case as well. So these were the, all the required entrance examination and the uh, various courses being offered at the undergraduate and the postgraduate level. So moving uh, further ahead, 
We also have a look at uh, precisely uh, what is the fee structure uh, in uh, the total fee in lakhs. So it's close to 5.5 lakhs for BTEC chemical engineering, computer science and engineering as well as mechanical engineering. Qualifying exam is obviously JE mains for that and 75% aggregate score in class 12th a minimum is required and compulsory subject has to be chemistry, biology, biotechnology as an optional subject. So uh, mathematics and physics are compulsory in this regard for all these computer science, engineering, chemical engineering and mechanical engineering streams that I just referred to for BTEC. The annual fee I told you, the total fee I told you is 5.56 lakh. And then for MTech courses in chemical engineering, computer science engineering and electrical engineering, qualifying exam is again GATE and 1.75 lakh is the fee structure. So a uh, minimum 60% aggregate is required and there is a relaxation for SCST students as well. But it has to be from a recognized university. So then MBA courses and the MCA courses are the other PG courses being offered by NIT Durgapur. Qualifying exams uh, for MBA is CAT, CMAT and XAT, bachelor's degree minimum 55% aggregate marks you need to have. And for MCA programs, the qualifying exam is NIMCET that I have earlier referred to as well. And a BCA degree or a bachelor degree with maths is the main subject. And uh, uh, that is much required for this. The fee structure for MBA is 1.68 lakh, the total fee. And the MCA is 2.34 lakh. So moving ahead, we see that the cutoff ranks, which is very important for you to actually target this institute, NIT Durgapur. Biotechnology, the opening rank in the round one was near about 28,000 plus. While closing rank in round six, the last round is 43,000 or close to 44,000. Chemical engineering it starts from 23,000 and closes at 34,000. Civil engineering starts at 21,000, closes again at 34,000. Computer science and engineering, it's 8,46 8, the opening rank and 8,215 is the closing rank. Electrical engineering is 10,000 plus rank and 18,000 plus is closing rank for electrical engineering while electronics and communication has 9,000 uh, as the opening round rank in the round one and in the closing rank in the round six, which is the last round, it is close to 13,000. Then mechanical engineering, 11,000 rank is the opening rank and the cutoff closing rank for the round six for mechanical engineering is 25,000 plus. And metallurgical and materials engineering, if you are targeting, so then the opening rank, I'll, I would like to tell you in the round one itself, it is 25,000 close to that and 41,000 plus is the closing round in the round six. So this is based upon the last latest estimates. And it will be near about this only if you are targeting all these courses that I just mentioned with regards to NIT Durgapur. So there has been a trend of declining cutoff for few streams as well. Uh, and uh, these streams particularly for which the rank has been declining, which means that a higher rank or a lower rank in the sense that uh, uh, the numerical value of the rank is higher, but overall it's lower in ranking. It is still given admission in the subsequent years, say for example, 2020 as compared to previous years. And that is uh, applicable for a few branches like biotechnology and uh, even other uh, branches as well. So this is the overall thing about cutoff for Indian nationals and this would apply to NRI as well. But you, for any further information, please do find the uh, link in the description. And uh, with regards to the scholarship being offered, which is again very much important. So the scholarship being offered by NIT Durgapur are very much in number. A total of 20, 31 scholarships are there. It provides residential, merit-based and institutional and low-income scholarships to the students. So a few of them, uh, just to name a few, would be a scholarship, a student free, a full free, free ship scholarship. Uh, like uh, Rajashiri Shahu Maharaj Merit Scholarship, Indian Council for Cultural Relations Scholarship. Student Half Free Ship Scholarship, then Indian Oil Corporation Limited Scholarship is there as well as one of the scholarships being offered. Then Nitya, Nitya Gopal and Himar Mathi Memorial Scholarship and Sita Ram Jindal Memorial Scholarship is there being offered by NIT Durgapur. And DASA Scholarship that all of you need to be concerned about. It is there. You can have further information in the description and you can even search for it. And then there is a student aid fund as well. So this DASA scholarship is what you need to be concerned about. And uh, I would uh, just to close this video, I would like to wish you all the best for those who are preparing for all these engineering examinations in the year 2021. I wish you all the best and I would 
लाइक यू टू सब्सक्राइब दिस टेस्ट प्रेप कार्ड चैनल फॉर मोर सच इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज ऑन एडमिशन एलिजिबिलिटी कोर्सेज ऑफर्ड बाई वेरियस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑल अक्रॉस द कंट्री इन इंडिया थैंक यू सो मच एंड आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट